So are you saying if I hit a zombie with my scythe, it turns into a, a minion for a little bit? Let's go test that. That doesn't require any voodoo witchcraft powder, just voodoo witchcraft straight up, right? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Seven Days to Die with the Rebirth mod. Hi, Goldie. Um, and in this episode, we've got to figure out um, a horde solution. It is day six. We have two days left to get that figured out. Um, but we got to do a couple other things, too. Um, one of my armor pieces is not in good shape. Will you guys... Could, hey, Goldie, go kill those guys. Resume. Go get them. Get them, girl. <laughs> She's not gonna go get him. All right, here. Come, no, don't. Oh, we lucked out there. <laughs> I have the worst luck coming off that fucking ladder, man. Uh, all right. What I was gonna say is we've got to we have to repair our armor. Oh, nice crit. We're level seven. Don't loop. We don't need to. Halt. There we go. Okay, then we got something going on over here, too. Sounds like zombies are eating somebody. They either killed a survivor or an animal. All right, whatever. Let's go. Um, Yeah, so we got to make ourselves an armor repair kit. We're also thirsty, and we'll stop by the, the trader and get some more drink. Why don't we also eat this ratatouille to get a little health back? And... Resume. Halt. Okay. Um, so, armor repair kit. Let's track that. We need one duct tape. Uh, I did make some glue last night in preparation for our blue pipe machine gun, uh, which we're very close to uh, being able to get. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, you see that green bar down there is almost all the way to the right. Uh, or we could also look here, I suppose. Uh, pipe machine gun. Yeah, so we're 98.33% uh, there. So we're going to make that, and uh, then we should be able to put three mods in it, and I have three mods already to go here. Well, I've, I've, we have these two, plus I have the... Um, my, <laughs> my, my wife is cheering. She's watching football right now, um, and Kansas City apparently just scored. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, what was I saying? Right. Uh, we're going to make the pipe machine gun. We're going to put the mods in it. And, uh, but we, we want to repair our armor. So it looks like we have everything we need for that. Now we just have to go down to the workbench. Oh, careful. Um, which is here. And we need hammer. Oh shit. We need pliers too. We haven't even found any. Uh, I mean, sorry. Um, no, we just need the hammer and pliers. Okay. There we go. Uh, I was thinking screwdriver, but I, it was actually pliers. Okay. I'm keeping this with me, though, just in case we need it for the, for the portable toolbox. And then if we go here and grab this and repair it, we should be good. Um, you know, this is going to need some attention here pretty soon, but I want to, I want to save my glue slash duct tape until we get the blue machine gun made. Uh, so that way, you know, we make sure we can do that. Right. Okay. Let's run over to the trader. I think he's going to require three hits and then. There we go. Did that get us there? Nope, not quite. Really close. 
really close. I'd say probably one or two more kills and we're there. I want to drop you off in here. We'll do an ammunition exchange and sell a couple of things to Bristol. Br Bristol? Briston. Bristol? That's a brewery here in Colorado. Uh, trade that. 34, nice. That's a decent chunk of change. And I just had some stuttering. Does that mean a horde just popped in? I don't know. Uh, do you have anything in your inventory? I don't think you do. Oh, you do. Okay. Well, she just picked that stuff up, though, so we'll let her hang on to that since we wouldn't sell any of that anyway. Um, Let's go ahead and sell this to you and this to you. We could consider buying... Never mind. Because I, I think we, had, we leveled in dexterity in the last episode, but... That is really, really expensive for us right now at this point in time. Um, water. Yeah, let's buy all of these. Okay, so... Uh, since we are so close... Let me, let me go look at something here. Uh, so close to getting the blue machine gun. I think that's the first thing we should focus on. wonder if we could make a horde base out of this place. Oh, that's only 1,200, though. Okay. I mean, it's reasonably stout, but I would prefer to find a 5,000 5, hit point place if we can. All right, Goldie's turned off at the moment because I want to... Make sure I get the kill. Oh, well, okay. That wasn't quite what I had in mind, but... Is there a... Yeah, there is. There's a thing down here. This is a binary groove. All right. Turn some music on. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Normally, he would take three hits. Okay. I guess that wasn't normally. Let's buy all of that. I think it's back up to seven waters, which is great. Um, Here's another Zeke here. And we did it. Pipe machine gun, quality five, ladies and gentlemen. And we're 81% of the way to Witch Doctor. All right. You should just take two hits. Oh, okay. Let's just take a couple. All right, let's kill the rest of these guys as we work our way back to the base to make our blue pipe machine gun. Oh, boy. We must be getting stronger. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, here. Uh, whoops. Now, see, now that one didn't... That killed her. Not sure if we got a headshot on that one, though. Okay, I think that clears everybody in, well, over here, anyway. I did see a couple more down this way as well. They may have despawned. Okay, there was a big stutter right there. 
What's the hit points on this outer building? Oh yeah, that's weak. Weak sauce. All right, let's get your inventory. We're at uh, 27 strength blueprints. Uh, all right, so we need to make ourselves a pipe machine gun. There we go. Guess we do that right in our inventory. We'll take the stock mod off of there. Oh, we can only do two. Okay, so let's do the retracting stock. And I think I'm going to do the flashlight. So we actually have a light because it's already an automatic weapon uh, that has no cell fires. Oh, you know something that occurred to me too. I was thinking about this. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. Now we now we have a light on our weapon, so that's almost as good as a headlight. Anyway, uh, I don't. I've been hanging on to these pistols to scrap them, but I don't think I can. I, I don't know how I would scrap them. So I think we're gonna just take these three because see, there's no option for scrapping, and I'm pretty sure the shredder does not do weapons. I think it only does, you know, like brass and stone and that sort of thing. So there's no point in hanging on to these. We might as well just sell them. Um. If there is a reason to hang on to those, let me know in the comments. Okay, so we have um, we have four more glue there. We might want to go ahead and repair this. These these aren't quite as in as bad a shape. Well, the shoes are damn near almost in bad a shape. Now let's wait a little bit longer on that. Let's wait a little bit longer. Okay, easy on the ladder. I could make myself a little backstop thingy for that. Resume. Okay, let's go sell these pistols, exchange this ammo, and then start looking for a horde base. While we continue to level, um, I think we have a decent chance of hitting Witch Doctor before the Horde Knight. However, I don't know if we'll be able to actually make any of the potions or anything until we get a mortar and pestle. I'm just not sure about that. We'll figure that out as we go. Let me look at one thing here. There's no notes on that. Let's go double check the shredder. I'm pretty damn sure it doesn't do weapons, but let's just look. Yeah, see, it's not giving me any option. It just does brass, rocks, lead, you know, raw resource types of things. Okay. Let's see if uh, Rectum here has any 762, normal State 762. business, fool. What the hell do you want this time? He does. Okay, let's sell... How much would that cost us? That would cost us $759 make you holla. Um, it's got some casings too. Yeah, I think, I think that's probably a wise thing for us to spend our money on right now. I mean, I know we can't make ammo yet, but we're going to need brass like there's no tomorrow. And yeah, let's, let's do that too. It's only money. <laughs> we'll get more. We will get more. All okay. All that gawking at goods, and that's all you buy? That's all I buy. All right. Horde base. We need a horde base. We need a horde base solution. Let's go. You know, there's a um, a small substation that um, 
is very, very strong and very, very small. We could find that. That would be ideal. I've actually used it as a horde base in the past, but I haven't seen anything like that in this immediate vicinity. Well, let's go a little further to the east than we have so far. Um, there is this place, this garage here. And I think this is pretty stout. I think this is a 5,000 hit point building. It is. And these are 15,000. This might work for us, guys. Um, let's just, I don't, I don't remember if there's any Zeeks in this building there. Most of them are in there in, in the underground bunker. Oh, look at the light. That's awesome. Okay, we might be able to do something with this place. Let's see here. Um, what is this? Yeah, that's just wood. There's a wheel down there. What I'm thinking... Is that we... We we come up with... <laughs> she just fell down. Okay, here, here's an idea. This will be our, our fight spot. And I'll upgrade all of this to cobblestone. If we get overrun, we escape through here to that roof. And I'd break this out so we had to jump over to the roof. That could work. That could work. Um, If we're going to do that, though, uh, this is, yeah, we should probably try and clear out at least the up upstairs so we don't get... POI zombies coming after us in the middle of the horde night. That door's probably locked, right? Yeah. Oh man, it's so nice to have this light. Okay, there's something over there. All right, I don't think that's a particularly nasty Zeke. You coming over this way? You're not in a hurry, are you? Zombie fisherman with lead fishing weights. Go figure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these stairs here. Oh, look at that. We just got the iron fire axe. Fan frickin' tastic. All right, we'll make one of those. I don't think they're too expensive to make, and I think we can make it from scrap iron. Okay, so we've broken the path here. Let's look at that real quick. 
chopping tools. Nice. What about mining tools? Yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer for us to get to that, but I, if we went out and started, like, hitting stone and shit, that would, I'm sure that would um, speed that up, too. Yeah, can I pick this up, put it back down, and have it still give light? Let's find out. No. I probably have to hook electricity up to it, I'm guessing. How much is it worth? 15. Okay. We'll sell it. Okay, let's make sure the rest of the... Uh, well, I think that's it, actually, because we were already in that room. So this upper floor should be secure now. Uh, let's grab this for brass. And we can wrench these guys. Get a little more material from them if you wrench them as opposed to picking them up and scrapping them. Not that we could, we probably can't do that anyways. All right, now we can make a wrench if we wanted to, but we'll wait till we get a little, a little higher up on that. Let's wrench this too. Hopefully we'll get a radiator from it. Oh, wait, can I just pick this up? Uh, I can't now because I damaged it. Uh, well, let's see if we... Oh, we did get a radiator. Okay, good. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't think we could could have picked that up and put it in the shredder directly. I think we do have to wrench it. I suppose what we could do is test that theory, though. Let's pick this one up and we'll see if we can put it straight into the shredder. My guess is that we can't. Let's all wrench the bed. Here's something that's odd. I don't know if I pointed this out in the purge or not. If I do a normal attack, I use a little bit of stamina. I mean, it's not much, right? But if I use a power attack, it uses no stamina. It doesn't seem like the power attack is any better than the normal attack either. It seems like the rate at which you wrench is the same. Okay, so here's normal. We're doing about 20, 20 hit points per. Here's power attack. See, it's still 20 hit points per, but this isn't using any stamina at all. And why that could be significant in a very minor way is that it's not, because it's not using stamina, it's not exhausting my, uh, you know, water, food, water, that sort of thing. Okay, so. Um, yeah, the plan is, I don't think there's any other way they could get up here. That I'm aware of. So the plan is that we will retreat to the roof if the shit hits the fan in this little building over here. So what we want to do then is we need to break this path. Yeah, we need to take out, I, I'd like to take out at least three blocks um, because of jumpers. Do I have any small stone? I don't. Okay. Oh, well, that didn't take much. Okay, then we just have to break these cross beams here. <laughs> Poor Goldie. Goldie, don't you know the definition of insanity? <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, we should, as long as we're not hurt or anything, we should be able to easily make that jump. Of course, I wonder if the zombies could easily make it too. If they do, then... Hmm. They, they probably wouldn't do that unless I was standing there. God, I guess we're going to find that one out the hard way, aren't we? Okay. So, this is going to be our fight location. 
And therefore, what we need to do is get it um, upgraded to, to cobble. So let's get this stuff out of the way first. What is this? Okay, good. That's that's five thousand hit point. And I, you know, I'm planning on primarily, if not almost entirely, meleeing on Horde Night Seven because I just don't think we're gonna have the ammunition that we're gonna need for that. But that's fine. We'll get uh, we'll get lots of XP for doing that. I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit more. It's great stuff, but a little bit loud. If you look in the lower right hand corner of my screen above my food toolbar, it tells us what song is playing. So if you guys hear a song you like that I'm playing on my Walkman, and you want to know what it's called, that's what it is. Um, by the way, these all this music comes from Stream Beats, um, which is like a, a free DMC free music service for anybody that's curious. Mm, well, it's too late now. I was going to say I should probably pick that up and sell it. We'll do that with the fridge. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Just, oh, can't take me anywhere, man. Oh, well, we'll get parts for it instead. All right, let's go um, get some stone. Zombie Richard's kind of a tough motherfucker. He's the guy that almost took me out down in the bunker in the last episode. Relatively speaking, that is. The tough motherfucker part. Alright, let's come back up here. Let's pick... Yeah, let's pick that up. Um, we're not going to want the door. And I'm almost wondering if I should maybe upgrade these stairs too so they don't break them. But we have a very limited amount of cobblestone, so we're going to have to be super careful for help. So obviously what we want to do... Um, here, let's move those over to there. And did I leave? Yeah, it looks like I left my toolbox back at the base, damn it. All right, well, um, let's grab this and get that upgraded. Okay, so that's going to use 10 blocks a piece. Doesn't leave us a whole lot more, does it? Let's get rid of that. Well, I mean, okay, how do we make cobble again? See, the problem with that is we need we need the propane tank. Yeah. That leaves us 86 cobble left. If I upgrade that and that. That leaves us 66, but we also need to make, you know, some blocks here. Um, I'm trying to think of what blocks I want to use. We could, we could use scaffolding ladders. The advantage of those is we can shoot through them and we can melee through them, but cops cannot spit through them. Now, if we get cops on Horde Night 7, you typically would not on, you know, on vanilla, but obviously this isn't vanilla. Um, the other, we could also do the, um, you know, the, the 
the dual sided pole thingy. That that's a good one. But I I I would not be surprised at all if Ramsey sends cops after us on Horde Night 7, so why don't we go with the scaffolding blocks? It's gonna make melee in a little bit more jank, but Um It is what it is. Okay, so yeah, let's do Let's do scaffolding. And I think we want hmm, I'm trying to remember, is it easier to hit through these vertically or horizontally? I can't remember. I think it's easier to hit through them vertically. So what we want to do is let's put this on advanced. Okay. Oh, we need boards. Okay, that's not a problem. We have boards. We just have to go back and get them. Come on. There you go. Okay, let's go get some boards. Um, and we're going to need to make like a, a way for us to get up here. Oh, you guys were telling me. Is this a, a crop plot? Um, or, yeah. Did, did that give us a crop plot? I don't think it did. Because I don't see it in here. Somebody was telling me in the, the comments for the purge that I could pick these up. Oh, I did get it. So maybe it's a, maybe it's a chance based thing. Oh no, no, no. It went down into here. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Note to self for sure, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, maybe what we could do is make, um, this our access up. I think we'll do that. All right. So let's get to here. This probably needs boards too, right? Yeah, okay. And let's break this seal here. See, this is probably giving us mining points, I'll bet. Let's uh let's look at that for a minute. Okay, right now we're at 28.76. Thirty point nine one. Okay, nice. There we go. Okay, so that's our way in to the base. So let's run back home and get um, some boards. Whilst we're here, we'll make a couple first aid bandages. And we'll also pick up our toolbox and take it with us. I need to eat too. At the moment, all I have available to me are some veggies. So we need to do some hunting. I don't believe I have any seeds at all, so we're just going to put the farm plots in there. That's amazing that we can pick those up, though. Whoever left me that comment, thank you, man. That was awesome. Uh, we'll put the gunpowder in the case. Oh, I must have already had some casings. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we'll put this gunpowder in here. Uh, do I have bullets? Yes. There we go. Uh, hammer and pliers. Hey, look what we have. All right. 34 rounds. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we'll come back for those. Okay, so I want to put you, you, and you in there. Right, let's head back over to our horde base. Is there a gas grill back here? 
Let's poke our head into this garage. Nope, we need a screwdriver. Resume. Make sure she's on resume. Um, and we'll pop, um, I don't know if there's, I don't, whoops, I don't remember if there's anything else up here or not. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, nice. I guess we'll take that too. All right, there's a zom over that way. Okay, so we got a little more cobble. I think I'm going to hit these two. And why don't we... There isn't really any way they could get up here. I mean, they could. Hmm. Unless we block this off. But what I want to do is upgrade this because if the, any part of this, these stairs break, it kind of screws the whole thing up. 44. Uh, all right. We're going to have to come up with some more cobblestone before the Horde Knight. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. Unless we can find a propane tank, you know? That's the thing we need is a propane tank. I don't think they would try to jump up there. Uh, oh, thought I was out of cobble. We'll leave that light there because it'll kind of help prevent them from jumping up on the roof. Okay. So, I need to remember there's a whole bunch of crop plots over here. I think what we do now, um, aside from, you know, getting some more cobblestone, I think we're as prepared as we can be. And hopefully that'll be enough, you know, for Horde Night 7. Um, so propane tank is kind of a really high priority right now. And finding more cobblestone. Preferably the propane tank, because then we can make the cobblestone. So, I'm going to go put this stuff back at the base. And let's go a little further into the city and see if we can find a hardware store. Or we we keep or we stay on the outskirts and we keep looking at residential houses for gas grills in the backyard. We already checked this grill and there that would that would have a cooking grill in it anyways, not a propane tank. Loot the desk. Might as well, right? Why don't we go this direction? Because we haven't really been any further south than straight ahead. If we did the veterinarian, we'd there'd be some critters in there where we could get some meat. Chicken. 
What the hell? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. There's some landmines over there. Only gave us three pieces of meat. Okay, there's a wolf over there. Resume. some meat and there's another wolf I was told that the sickle is as good as the knife for harvesting all right good that gave us 22 pieces of meat so that's worth Five bacon and eggs or five grilled meat. Oh, gas grill? Yes, gas grill. Come on, baby. Huzzah! Look at that. There we go. That's what you call success, ladies and gentlemen. It just doesn't happen all the time. The wolf killed him, so that's why we didn't get the auto litter to work. Okay. Let's go back, put the propane tank in, grind up all that shit, and make some more cobblestone. And then we're, I think we're in good shape for, for the horde. I hope we are. They could still, like, just absolutely wipe the floor with us. Oh, look at that. More stuff to put in the scrapper thingy. All right. Siphon the gasoline out of the that one. This car is not lootable. There's a deer. Oh. Uh, where did that deer go? There it is. Oh, what if it runs over the, the landmines over here? Could get it stuck, that'd be nice. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I don't really want to waste ammo unless we have a, a pretty sure shot. Oh, it escaped to the hole of defense. Okay. Well, let's not keep chasing it. I believe for cobblestone we need the big rocks, which I may not have a whole lot of actually because I haven't really done any mining yet. And okay, what can we make for food? We can make boiled meat or grilled meat. I guess I don't have any eggs. So yeah, let's just make six grilled meat. That's fine. And We'll make a couple bakers, too. Right. Okay, now, do I have any large stones? I don't think I do. So that means we're going to have to go do a little bit of mining, which isn't a bad thing because that's going to get us some... I haven't put anything in those boxes yet. That's going to get us some mining XP. Let's save the murky water for glue. Yeah, that was close.
close. <laughs> In fact, why don't we... What's the matter with this? We're... Why are we... Why are we down here? Oh, because we're hungry. Okay. In fact, let's grab a little bit more. Oh, we need to grab our ammunition, too. 34 more rounds. Okay, now we're back to full health cap. There we go. Nice. There. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So that'll be a nice little chunk of brass for us when we get to the point where we can actually start making ammo. Let's go sell these things. Okay. I think we're in pretty good shape, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the rest of this in-game day doing some mining. Uh, I'm just going to mine stone somewhere so we can get some big stones so we can come back here and throw them in here to make cobblestone. And it just takes large rocks. We don't need clay or anything like that, which is kind of nice. And that is the plan stand. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Tomorrow, during the day, we'll probably just go out and do some... More POIs, keep leveling. Uh, we are nine. We're at like two percent of the way, uh, or two percent left to hit Witch Doctor. Um, maybe we should just go find a couple Zeeks and do that right now before I let you go. I don't know what immediate abilities that's going to give us without having to, like, say, for example, get the Mortar and Pestle. Um, but we'll find out. So yeah, let's go kill a couple more Zeeks and become a witch doctor. Stay away from that guy. Resume. We did it. We did it. Right? Yeah, Witch Doctor Book Fragment. Huzzah! Ooh. Can we... Dude. Can we do this? Oh, shit. It... Uh... Okay, I can't pick it up. I don't... Okay, no, we did get the handlebars. Okay, well, I mean, we already have handlebars, but that means we could potentially get a chassis the next time. I just wasn't sure what the right approach was there. Oh. Okay. Let's go home and make our Witch Doctor book. I just noticed something too at least here with the pipe weapon when I reload it doesn't slow me down I don't know if that's only for the pipe weapon or if it applies to the other weapons but it's kind of nice we don't need a run and gun some more glue Always happy to get more glue. Uh, what am I doing? We're doing that. Okay. So, if we go... Witch Doctor Book Fragment Craft. We just need 20 paper. Witch Doctor Book Fragment... Also needs 20. This is the scythe fragment. And the class book.
Huzzah! Okay. Read this to start on the path of the Witch Doctor. If you have attained Witch Doctor class level 8 or better, then we can do other classes. But we're not worried about that right now. Okay, here we go. Um, alright, so... I'm a Witch Doctor now? S okay, so, um... If we go here, and we go here, I can have a horror panther. Really? Okay, how do I get that? Do I gotta? I think I have to go. I think I have to buy that, right? How do I get a horror panther? Oh, I need, I need the alchemy bench. And that's a... Right, okay. So that's a um, a mission, but it's a gathering resources mission. It's not like a fighting mission. Uh, okay. Let's run back over to the trader really quick and see what that is going to cost us. Uh, I don't. I know I don't have enough money for it right now. Oh, can we make the, can we make these now? You don't have the necessary resources. Okay. I have a feeling like we're not going to be able to do the mind control stuff until we get the mortar and pestle. Because I think we have to make witchcrafty stuff for that to work. Have you familiarized yourselves with my missions yet? Each of them will reward you with a crafting station schematic. Should you meet their player level requirement? They're easy enough to complete. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Alternatively, you can salvage crafting stations, find in the world, and repair them in your toolbox. The main advantage of the schematic is that you can craft as many stations as you need. Right, okay. So, um... Oh, that's different. That's a rage panther. Okay, so the alchemy station is this one. And it's $1,500... Which we could raise pretty easy. We just go wrench a bunch of cars and, you know, pick some more shit up. Um, but we're also going to need this, which is 1500 also. And this is going to require us to do a, what's going to be a pretty tough mission for us at this point, I think. But it's doable, right? And, and Well, it's not just doable. It's absolutely essential, I think. Because um, I think we need some kind of solution to make these arrows. Um, I thought, though, black magic. Okay, at level one, your mind control zombies have 20% more health and deal 25% more damage. Your scythe damage can turn normal zombies to... Oh, really? So, are you saying if I hit a zombie with my scythe, it turns into a, a minion for a little bit let's go test that that doesn't require any voodoo witchcraft powder just voodoo witchcraft straight up right take my pulse there it is oh wow look at that I'm not inclined to want to go down there right now. Well, that's a beefy wheel. What's that? Military wheel. Hell yeah. That's cool. What does it take to repair this? An electronics repair kit, which we can buy. We could put that to use on the Horde Knight. I just have to figure out where the hell I'm going to put it. Oh, here's a Zeke. Here's two Zeke's. Right. Okay. So if I read that right, if I hit Edgar, he becomes our friend for a little bit. Uh, I didn't read it right. Oh, there's another one of those big giant guys. 
Okay, you know what? Hmm. Okay. Why how come he didn't turn when I when I hit him? Your scythe damage can turn normal zombies to temporarily fight with fight for you. Does that mean it's a a chance to proc and not a guaranteed thing? Should we try to kill this fucker? We gotta watch Goldie's health. You know, one thing I need to, uh, I need to confirm and I haven't done so yet is, can I, can I hit Goldie? Oh, n oh, shit, I was going to say, wow, you killed him already? Oh. Okay. I'd like to get the kill. I got it. Nice. Look at this, guys. We're two books away from doing a ranged expertise. So we have to have nine. Uh, and we would do tactical rifles. Yeah, we have to have nine of those. Where's that where's that coming from? Oh, right here. Okay, let's let's try something. Let's just keep hitting him. Okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. Um, I was just gonna keep hitting him and see if he if he turns. It does say can turn. It doesn't say does turn. So that leads me to believe it's a chance to proc. Um, if that is the case, that'll make Horde Knight interesting because I'm gonna be fighting with my my scythe, and yeah, that could be really interesting actually. Oh, okay, let's look at that again. Black magic. Level one. Your scythe damage can turn normal zombies to temporarily fight for you. Okay. Your mind control zombies have 20% more health and deal 25% more damage and regenerate one life per second. It does have a little note up above that says be careful. They will keep some of their bonuses, speed and strength for a short period of time. Once unturned. So once they turn back against you. Very interesting. Okay. You can craft stone arrows. Both. Oh, okay. So we have to be level two to craft the arrows. I gotcha. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. And when we hit level three, we can craft a skeleton warrior. Nice. And mind control potions. Mind control potions. So... How do I get a zombie to drink a potion so I can mind control it? <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out. Interesting. Okay, this is going to be fun, you guys. I'm really looking forward to trying this class out. Uh, and we're very close uh, to hitting level two in scythes. And we have to... So the way this works, for those of you who may not know, is we can't level witch doctor or, or any class higher than the weapons right but once we get either one of the weapons it doesn't matter which to level two then the class will also start leveling to level two so that's how ramsey has it set up um and i guess I, I mean i guess it's done that way so you can't be level one and have a really super powerful weapon i'm, I'm assuming um so that's anyway that's the way that it works but we are almost there you know with, with our size and after the horde night then you know, we'll definitely hit it because that's what we're gonna again fight with on the horde night speaking of which can we make the next um let's go back to here okay so we're 36.1 percent on the way to to a yellow so i think we'll hmm i'm just trying to decide if i should 
make an orange right now. Rusty sickle. Yeah, it's not it's not that expensive. I think I will. Uh, just because if we don't get to the yellow one by the time the Horde Knight starts, I want to have one that's a little more durable and does a little more damage too. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. And uh, so in the next episode tomorrow, it'll be day seven. We'll go out during the day and, you know, kill some Zeeks, hit some POIs, that sort of thing. And then, of course, we will do the Horde on Horde Night. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.